In today's custom stringing video, I show you two heads for a current player at Rutgers and also some cool custom fade dies. What's going on, Throne Army? It's pretty cold in here, so I got the hood up today, um, but I got a bunch of really nice heads for you. Um, got some NCA legal pockets and also some custom dies along with custom stringing. Uh, I'm going to get this started off right. The first one is for Johnny, and it is an awesome two custom color fade blade pro, warrior blade pro. So he wanted navy to Carolina to white. Uh, kind of a three color fade with white. The bottom um, looks unreal. Uh, it's got a 15 mil uh, navy fade. Um, crown pocket in it. Up top we did Carolina and white sides we did Carolina. Throat we did Carolina and it's got all white shooters and white locks. Um, absolute perfect colorway. Um, great combination between head and pocket. Look at that channel. And uh, it's just awesome. It looks really really nice. I did this kind of colorway um, for a head a while ago and I think I've done two or three of them now. Um, guys really really seem to like them and this one is no exception um, and I just love the blade um, and the crown. It's actually my stick I use so um, definitely a really cool look to it um, and I hope he loves it because this thing is just sick. Nice deep pocket to it. Um, awesome. Not much else to say. The only thing I would have done was throw in uh, a Carolina or a uh, yeah I do a Carolina screw just to uh, Bring it all the way through it's already got everything else all just unbelievable on it but so that's for johnny next is an stx superpower for daniel um it's a black sp and it's got an assassin pocket in it with 15 mil um solid royal up top we got black and red sides we have black throat we have black with a red screw really nice touch it really stands out against the black head um all red shooters and then black locks um really nice colorway on this thing um the assassin is one of my favorite pockets of string um, really nice channel to it, nice mid pocket that can that can go low, and um, that's about it. Nice and simple, and uh, they fit well together. The pinch point of the head goes perfect in that six diamond U, um, and I, I like it a lot. It's a cool color. I wasn't too sure about the black head, uh, but now that I see it, um, it, it looks pretty sick. And also with the the red screw, kind of just brings it all around. So that's for Daniel. Next is an STX Stallion for Paul with an Archer pocket in it. This head's a little bit pinched, so the perspective of the pocket's a little bit off, but it's got 15 mil Carolina fade to it, black going all the way around, nice touch matte black screw in the throat, heavy top nylon and black, black shooters, and white shooter locks to cap it off. Um, this thing's got a pretty severe pinch on it. Um, I tried to de-pinch it a little bit, but um, I think it might be a little bit intentional because it doesn't look like it's from face-offs, just looks like um, someone actually pinched it because it's pretty even. Um, there you can see how tight the channel really is with the pinched head. Um, nonetheless, it's going to perform just the same, just a little pre preference on how much you want to see your head pinch. So it kind of pulls the pocket a little bit more narrow here, a little bit taller, um, but I just had to trim that up with the bottom string and um, looks really nice. So that is for Paul. The next is definitely one of my favorites in this bunch. It's for Kyle, and it is a Rabel X with a Type M pocket and 20 mil. Never done one before, um, but I thought it would be an awesome setup, so I'm really glad someone ordered it. So it's got 20 mil white throw mesh in it with a Type M pocket in it, which is NCAA legal. White stringing going all the way around, and then um, same thing in the, uh, the shooters. And you can see really nice mid-high pocket, really going to have a really high offset feel to it, um, but with the rolled shooters, it's going to be nice and smooth. Um, and there's the channel. So nice. So um, really cool setup. And I love the face shot. Um, it looks very different, but has a really cool um, aesthetic to it. And I think he's really going to love it. Um, I wish it wasn't in white so I could actually throw with it without getting it dirty. Because um, I, I bet it's a lot of fun to play with. The next head is for Joey, and it is a Warrior Nas X. I actually threw a photo up on this one. It was first when we got it up on Instagram because it is brand new. Um, I'm not sure if it came with the tags. I don't think it did, but brand new, not one scoopy on it, not one ball burn, brand new. Haven't held a brand new one in a while. Um, it's got a crown pocket in it with 15 mil white. Up top, we did navy and yellow. Sides, we did yellow. Navy in the throat with the red screw. It looks really sick. Um, heavy top nylon in yellow with navy shooters. Um, nice combination between head and pocket. Uh, just all around, this thing is sick. I would love to have this. And actually, this is my high school color, so I would have loved to have played with this in high school. Um, really nice tall channel to it, nice and square. Going to have a lot of hold and a really smooth release. Um, that's about it, and I'm pretty jealous. This thing is going to be sick. Next is an STX Proton Power for Annie, and I think this is actually our only king pocket in this series of heads. I think that's the first time ever that there's only been one king pocket in it. Um, nonetheless, though, this thing looks amazing. It's got 15 mil white in it. Um, up top, it's got uh, gray and white. Sides are white. Throat is white. 
Um, just got a regular screw. White heavy top nylon, gray shooters, and white locks. The gray shooters with the white locks looks insane, um, especially on the solid color head. Um, as always, really nice channel and nice mid-high. Um, goes well in the Proton Power. I just don't like how tight they are compared to the Super I like a little bit wider head usually. But um, as you can see, just beautiful, nice high channel to it. Um, it's going to look really nice. And I love the gray on the orange. Um, I think it's a really, really cool colorway. So um, that one is for Annie. Next, we have two heads for MG. Um, I've actually done a few heads or one other head for him. You might have saw that in the uh, the custom Christmas heads. I did a Rutgers theme um, Rabel X. And um, they are for his son that I guess is a freshman at Rutgers this year. And he really loved the other one. So he ordered two more. So both of these are Rabel X's. Um, and we did a little bit of variant of the pocket. Um, the other one we did was a, um, a mid to low type A. And he wanted a little bit more of a mid um, with a little bit tighter bottom string. Um, and he also wanted me to step up um, the shooter a little bit higher for him. Um, and so that's exactly what we did. And uh, I'm really excited to hear his feedback on these ones. Um, he really loved the other ones I did for him. So ordered two more. Um, so they kind of have a custom spec type A's in them um, with 15 mil white up top. We have red and white sides. We have red throat. We have red with a uh, red screw, black nylon, white shooters and red shooter locks. Um, and they said that the, this year they're doing a little bit more red, gray and white. They're getting away from the black um, at Rucker. So we just did the black up top and I think it looks really nice with um, just the black uh, Rabel logo down here. And what's cooler than having one really cool stick, the fact that he's going to get two and uh, they're identical and they look awesome. So those are two for MG and uh, his son plays at Rutgers. Next is for Allison and it is a Warrior Evo 3X, um, the awesome royal and white colorway. Um, they ordered a custom spec. Um, they kind of wanted a knight, but um, with a heavy top nylon in it. So that's what they got. Um, 15 mil royal fade. Up top, we did white and royal sides. We did white, white in the throat with a black screw that just goes perfect with the black jewel on the front of the Evo 3. Um, heavy top nylon in white. I would probably have done that in black or white um, just to give a little bit more contrast, but still looks amazing. And then white shooters and blue locks, and the blue locks look perfect. So really, really sick looking head. Um, nice channel to it. This is just going to be a great midi head. Um, the Knight is my favorite pocket for middies, um, especially two-handed middies um, that are just looking to feed and shoot and be accurate with mid to low whip. Um, this one's going to have a little bit more snap to it because of that heavy nylon in it, um, but I, I know he's going to love it because this thing is just beast. Next, we have an STX Surgeon for Chris, and Scott is in love with this thing. Um, he is really just falling in love with the Surgeon, and uh, this has a Prince pocket in it with 15 mil white up top we did black sides we did black it's got a carolina shooter in the throat really nice touch um heavy top nine on a black carolina shooters and black locks that just make it superb looking um it's got that really nice mid high to it with the the mesh rolled and a nice square high channel to it um would not change a thing about this i think it looks absolutely gorgeous you can really see how defined and nice and high the pocket is I love the, the shooter in the throat with the Carolina. Um, beautiful colorway. Uh, Chris, just going to be awesome. I hope you love it because um, I think it looks unreal. And I know it's going to just be an absolute dream. Uh, this is definitely my favorite cannon in this bunch. Nothing even comes close to it. Next is a Warrior Rabel X for Sarah that's got a serious pinch to it. This would be a nice box head. It's got that really, really tight pinch to it that's actually extended the head here. Um, and it's got the four straight in it. Uh, so it's got a crown with 15 mil white. Up top, we got black and white. Sides, we have black. In the throat, we have maroon and a black screw. And it looks really sick with the maroon here and just a little bit there. Um, heavy top nylon and black. White shooters. And probably my favorite part is the clear shooter locks. Um, just make it look so cool. Um, yeah, this thing's severely pinched. It's going to be pretty hard to catch with. Um, but if you can, it will have hold for days. Um, it's got a really nice deep crown pocket to it. And look at the channel. It's super long, super smooth how long it is. Um, it's just, it'd be a really sick box pocket just because it's so tight. It's going to be really hard to get stripped. But then when you go to follow through and you bring that stick horizontal and you pull your arms through and down, it's just going to ride out of there. And with that full long release, especially such a pinched head, it's going to be just a bullet. It's going to be extremely accurate. Um, but Again, it's going to be hard to catch with, <laughs> but uh, really cool. I really like that. We also did another Rabel coming up that has almost an even bigger um, boxy bag to it that I think is unreal. 
Next, we have another Warrior Nas X with a pretty severe pinch on it. I think the kid might be a Fogo, but it's got this royal or kind of light Carolina royal uh, uh, marble die to it. Um, they originally, I think, wanted a king pocket in it, but it was just not... You couldn't do it with the, the pinch of this head with that U. It would just, the ball would never release. Um, so they ended up going with a crown pocket. Um, but I think we pushed it to be a little bit more of a mid um, to give them a little bit more um, whip on their shot. And they, they also, I think, wanted a little bit higher pocket. Um, but we got 15 mil Carolina in it. Up top, we did Carolina and black. Sides, we did Carolina. Throat, we did black with the Carolina screw. Heavy top nylon and white, which just classes the thing up like crazy. Carolina shooters. And, car or, and white locks. Um, really sick colorway, cool looking head, and the channel is insane, um, especially with the pinch of this thing. Um, it's like the same thing like the Rabel. If you're able to catch with it, this one's not as pinched. Um, it's gonna be extremely accurate stick and extremely hard to get stripped, and it's gonna be smooth rolling off those shooters. So um, that is for Jack. Next is another Warrior Rabel X for Terra. Um, this thing is sick. It has a 20 mil Pioneer pocket on it. It's got this big old bag to it. It's going to have so much hold, have such a great feeling. And when you go to shoot, it's going to be smooth. Um, really nice box setup. Um, I would definitely use something like this um, for box. If, if you like that style of like a true box pocket um, with a really pinched head with that low bag to it and the shooters um, really deep, straight in the head, smooth release. Um, it's just awesome. It's pretty much everything I said about the the other um, razor, just to the or to the other <laughs> razor, the other Rabel. Um, I was just working on a traditional and a uh, that razor that uh, my buddy brought that we just murdered out. Um, you'll see it soon, but I I've been thinking about it. Um, nice big bag to it. It's going to be awesome for box. Give you a lot of hold and then that smooth release out of that long channel with the four straight. So definitely cool. I like seeing stuff like this in the Rabel. Um, it's a very versatile head. Um, I think it's just really cool, especially with box um, going on right now. Um, I'm very much in the box mode. So uh, definitely cool. Um, and this is for Terra. I know it's for his son. So I can't remember your name, buddy, but I know I've done a few stuff for you. So um, I hope you love it. This head is sick. Next is an STX hammer for Aaron, and if I was an attackman and I was playing against this head, I would be a little bit intimidating. It's completely murdered out, and it's got a Type D in it um, with six diamond black fade, which looks awesome in the black head. Um, up top, we have Royal. Sides, we have Royal. Got a pink uh, in the throat with a red screw, and um, Royal shooters with clear shooter locks. A little bit of a Duke theme. Um, just looks sick, and the pink shooter just brings it to the next level. Looks so awesome, and then the best part is the channel to it in such a wide head just perfect and that nice mid super defined mid this is going to have hold for days for all defensemen um you guys seem to love it defensemen love the crap out of this thing especially in the hammer um probably my favorite defensive head um it's just beast looking absolutely beast so um that is for aaron these next two heads are for Richard, and he is a coach in central New York. Um, we talked on the phone about putting a few heads together from his, for his kids. Um, I'm actually, yeah, I'll show you this, just the unbelievable one first. Um, this thing, uh, we went back and forth on colors and whatnot, and this thing turned out awesome, and I absolutely love it. So it's another STX hammer, but this time with a Leviathan in it, um, and it's got a maroon to white fade on the head, and then the mesh is white to maroon. Um, it's really cool. It, like flips colorways um like checkerboard almost uh just such a cool idea and then it's got white stringing going all the way around but it's got a maroon shooter um and then it has white uh shooters up here and white locks i would not change one thing about the head um i think it's unbelievable perfect channel to it again nice super defined mid smooth release but unbelievable hold and I just love the dye mix of the dye. It's like, it's hard to really see it. Um, there you go. You guys can get an idea for it. Um, I really like it. I think I'm also doing another, I was talking to another father the other day and he's doing, uh, or a grandfather and he's doing um, a stick for his son. He played at CW Post, uh, talked to him for like 40 minutes on the phone, just swapping lacrosse stories. Um, awesome guy. And uh, we're doing something like this for um, his grandson stick because um, this one came out so nice, the, the flipping of the colors. So that's the first one. And uh, the second one, it's not as flashy, but it's still an awesome stick. And it has an, it's an STX stallion with an archer pocket in it. Um, 15 mil white, black stringing up top, white sides, white throat, 
heavy top nylon and black with white shooters and white locks. Um, just clean, classy, and super functional. Um, just going to be a great head. Uh, the really thing, the thing I love about the um, Assassin, not only is it a great beginner pocket, or not even, it's not even a beginner pocket, it's a great fundamental pocket. It's going to let you cradle one-handed, two-handed, shoot, pass smooth, um, you know, drop your hands. It's just a great all-around pocket for any position. And uh, I recommend it a lot to younger players, so I think it sometimes it gets a... Uh, it kind of gets a stereotype of being just kind of a beginner pocket, um, but it, it's not. Um, I played with it for years, people. Years I played with the pocket just like this and loved it. Um, and in the Stallion, it's it's even better because it can also be an attackman or a mini setup. A lot of times when uh, uh, a lot of players that are younger, their parents contact me because they don't know about lacrosse. They, and we, we talk about what they want. I always recommend this because as a kid, you should be trying every position. You shouldn't really, you know pigeonhole yourself into one and this can be used for midi attack lsm defense anything and it's going to perform like crazy at all of them so um this is what we decided with on this um it's kind of like a mix of our pre-strung but switching the head in the pocket um but just perfect nice mid pocket to it that can also bag down if you want to go one-handed or stay up there and that six diamond with that channel is going to offer you whip and hold so those are the two for rich um sick this was sick so at the end of the custom stringing videos, I always show you guys my favorite heads or cannons or and cannons. And this one, there's so many that I like, and I don't really want to shortchange any of them. So I'm actually going to do more than two. I'm going to do one for every position. Uh, favorite D head is definitely this one. Um, super intimidating, but it's got, you know, the pink in it. Just all around cool head, simple shooter setup, but going to just perform. And I just think that's really cool. Favorite midi and cannon really is going to be this surgeon. Because who would not want to rip corners all day with this bad boy? Favorite attack, you guys can all guess, is going to be this one. Because it is actually what I use for field. Um, it's just got a sick colorway to it. Uh, definitely cool. And I'd have to say my favorite stick out of all of them. Um, I actually changed my mind during the video. Um, was this final hammer. Um, it, I know the guy it's going to. And I know how passionate is he is about, about lacrosse. So I did put a lot into this. And um, just matching that fade up with the mesh to the head. Um, it just does something. It's a look I haven't really seen before, and I think it's really special, especially with the angler, uh, the angling on the uh, the mesh and the head. It's literally almost a di oop, diagonal that way. Um, just sick. So I cheated a little bit, but whatever. Let me guys know what your guys' favorite is in the comments, as always. That's one of my favorite parts of these videos. And if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel for other cool custom stringing videos. And that's everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We're doing a lot of custom stringing videos because we are just getting heads in like crazy because of the beginning of the season and just the growth of Throne. And it has been amazing. So that's everything, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys soon. and deep um, with that full long release 12d tends to take longer to break in because it's wider um, it has to be pulled wider across the top here so it doesn't really 